guys thank you for tuning in to another episode of scenes by joy and guess what you guys we have made it to day 12 like when i first started this vlogmas challenge your girl did not think that she was gonna make it this far like i believed in myself but i knew that my life was crazy i knew i had a lot going on so the fact that i made it this far day 12 baby i'm proud of me self to self i'm proud of you but for today's episode we're gonna do like a little chit chat a little get ready with me a little makeup tutorial now i am not that girl like i'm not finna teach you how to beat your face this little makeup tutorial is for the girls who wear like little makeup just want some coverage just want to throw it on and go look decent because honey so first things first, I'm gonna do my brows. My brows are not threaded. I think in another video I told y'all I'm ready to get my brows waxed. I don't get my brows waxed, you guys. I get my brows threaded, but I haven't had time for that. So I'm gonna take this. Let me put that in the camera. Can y'all see that? Okay, it's not focusing, but whatever. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of that on my brows because they are not done, but I need them to look decent today. So, yeah, we're gonna put a little bit of that on here so I can just, as you can say, I'm gonna take my little swindle thing and go ahead and shape them like this. That way when I fill them in, we can have a little better shape on them. Um, I started this new little trick. I used to go ahead and fill in my brows first and then conceal, but I think I like it better when I conceal then put the brows on. So this is what I use for my concealer. I think this is, I don't even know what shade is this. It's a 45 on the bottom, but whatever child. So. Let's get into this spill. I have to work at my intern today and it's supposed to rain in Dallas. I do not like driving in the rain. And then the holiday party I have to take pictures at is all the way in Fort Worth. And if you're from the Dallas area, you have to understand that Dallas and Fort Worth are not the same thing. Okay, those are two different places. And I say like in the medical city district uptown area. And honey, that's about a 45 minute drive and it's raining. And I'm just an intern, you guys. Like I get paid like a stipend, but you know, this ain't my nine to five. And plus I have to work events all next week well not all next week i have two events i have to work next week that are also in fort worth so you know with gas prices and then with this rain i had asked my boss can you come scoop i can't like i can't afford it and then today i'm just not gonna drive in that rain i'm just not i refuse i'm gonna take this little brush put a little bit of Y'all setting spray. Let's spray this real quick. And with my brows, like I told y'all, the brows make the face. So I really, I really take my time on my brows. So if I'm a little in and out, that's because I'm focused. Now I did have a lot planned for today after work. I was thinking about going to this um bar with my sister. It's like this holiday pop-up shop bar that's in Dallas. And it's super cute. And I also got asked to go out to eat. But one thing about me, I do not travel in the rain. I just don't, okay? That's not me. I don't want to do it. So I'm probably gonna cancel. I know with my sister, I already have canceled and told her like, let's just, let's just plan to go Wednesday. You know, a good hump day event. But y'all, let me tell y'all how I woke up just feeling some type of way. Like, really. And you know what? I probably am going to pause this video and do my brows first. 
because like I said, my brows, I take this serious. I really need to concentrate, so hold on. I'll be right back. So I decided to bounce back a little bit because although I'm going to stop filming to do my brows because I need to be close to the mirror, I really wanna get up in there. I wanna show y'all what I use for my brows. I went to Vegas for my dad's birthday. Forgot my eyebrow stuff, so I had to get new stuff. Ran to CVS in Vegas, and I got this Maybelline Tattoo Studio Black Brown 382. Can y'all see that? Is that focusing? It's Maybelline Tattoo Studio. And I just fell in love with it. It's all I want to use now. Like, it makes it so much easier. I take, like, this little, tiny little brush thing, and I just fill them in. And yeah, this is my go-to. Like, I love the way I do my brows, so I'm about to go ahead, fill them in, and then we'll finish our little talk. We'll finish our talk about why I woke up distressed today, okay? Okay, guys, so we are back. And a little disclaimer, you're probably wondering why is my bathroom door open? <sighs> I'm tired of this apartment, you guys. I was rushing. I was staying in East Texas for a year. Moved back to Dallas, looked at this apartment one time. I was like, I just need an apartment, signed the lease. The lighting in here sucks. So I had to open up my big window so some natural light can come in so you all can see me better and I can do my makeup a little bit better. So that's that. And then going back to these brows, what I did, I just went in and filled them in as you can see. And I went like cleaned it up with my concealer, put a little setting spray and bada boom. So we have this part done. Now back to my rant. Okay, so the reason why I woke up distressed is because I checked my bank account. And child, I'm a teacher, I get paid once a month. I'm about to go ahead and put my foundation on. <laughs> so let me tell y'all what I got. I got, I think it's 19, child, I don't know, but it's Fenty Beauty, 19. And honestly, I need another foundation because this one I bought in the summertime, and I don't know why, I think it's a little too light now, but that's neither here nor there. I'm gonna go over with like some bronzer to tan myself out. So anywho, I'm a teacher. I get paid once a month. And usually I am the queen of budgeting, you know? And I still do fairly good with budgeting or whatever. But you guys, inflation is doing a number on your girl. And I checked my bank account and I was like, Joyce, what the hell have you been doing this month? I'm like, damn, like seriously? And back in, like back in 2016, when I first started teaching, you know, I wasn't making as much as I'm making now, but I feel like I was so much richer back then because my rent was only really Oh Lord, my rent was only probably $9.85 after fees. And I did not have a car note, which the car I have now is almost paid off, but still, I didn't have a car note. And just the cost of living, groceries, everything was cheaper. And I used to be a couponer, so all that good stuff. My rent now, my rent now is $16.50. And this apartment is so much more smaller than the first apartment I had when I stayed like in Garland, which, you know, it's all based on location in Dallas, but you got, it ain't that many miles apart. It's not. So my bills have increased, but I have three bank accounts. Like I have a savings account with my Chase. Then I have a bills account with my Chase, which is another checking account. Then I have a savings account with Lending Club. And then that's where I put my miscellaneous money and then I have a credit union. So I hide money for myself. But when I was looking at my miscellaneous spending, I'm just like, I have not bought out that much this year. Well, not this year, but this month. I haven't bought out this month. At least I don't think so. Because when I used to work in Garland, my first year teaching, I used to go out every weekend. Every time I got paid, I would like go shopping. I would always get my nails done. I always keep my hair did, all that. And still, you know, had plenty of money to save. And guys, I am like blending my makeup out because like hard, because I do not want to look like Michael Jackson or Prince. And I have that tendency of looking like them sometimes. So yeah, but anywho, I, you know, I was able to save, I was able to save so much that for a year, I just took 
took um took off from work like i was not teaching for an entire year because i was able to save and then after the pandemic you know living in east texas when i moved to east texas i took a pay cut but it was cool because the cost of living there is cheaper than in dallas so i wasn't even tripping off of that really i was not and when i came back to dallas like everything just shot up so yeah and although i make more money it's just i don't know so when i looked at my bank account and i know i don't get paid until december 19th and today is december 10th because i do shoot content ahead of time so i can stay on track so when i had realized that i was like trying to make it to payday oh it's the ride in your life so yeah and on top of me having my internship yes i had got my internship so i could have more you know mass communication experience on my resume and i am trying to move which i will get into that on another episode so um i need to save money oh crap i almost knocked in my mirror y'all um i am trying to save money because i'm trying to get up out of dallas and you know it's like damn i really had to get a second job because baby the bills are billing and people say that if you pay your bills all your bills are paid then whatever you have left over you're not technically broke because all your bills are paid but i disagree with that because i don't want my life set up to where i am only you know working to pay bills that just doesn't make sense to me and for me to have my associate's degree to have my bachelor's degree to have my master's degree i work a salary job you know and i'm also working a second job now and look at my bank account and be like what the fuck is this and then within my nine to five some days i'll stay you know during my conference period and keep another teacher class because you know they pay us 45 dollars each time we do that so i'm hustling within my nine to five and i started buying groceries so i'm not eating out as much so i'm cooking but y'all at this point it really don't even matter if you eat out or cook because all this shit hot child groceries hot i went to kroger's last night and I just got a few things to kind of cook over the weekend to kind of just, you know, have this meal prep throughout the week. Because like I said, I am on this, you know, lose weight journey. $69. $69. And keep in mind that I went to the grocery store just last weekend. Just last. And I'm having to replenish food. And I'm not even just wild and out getting steak and lobster. I'm just getting the bear. You know, simple meals. And I'm like, damn. Uh, like, being an adult is so hard. Like, it drives me crazy. And I don't ask nobody for money. You know, I was raised by my grandparents. And I'm not about to ask my grandparents for some bread. I'm just not. I feel like I don't need to be taken out of their household. So, I really just be thugging it out, figuring it out. And all that good stuff. So from, let me pause on my little rant. So now I'm gonna go ahead and put on my setting powder. And I use the Fenty Beauty. Can y'all see that? Fenty Beauty setting powder. Um, setting powder. And this is Honey 05. So that's what I was saying. I don't ask my grandparents for money. I don't expect them to, you know, help me out. If anything, I like to, I like to give to them. You know, I'm a giver. And I've been doing this adult shit for so long. Like, I left my grandparents' house when I was 17 years old. I started college at 17. And since that day, I've just been taking care of myself. And of course, as a college kid, there were moments where I did have to ask for money. But I always made sure I got that, uh, gave that back in double fold. When I'll get financial aid, I will look out. If I needed my granny to cover my rent, which while I was in college, I only had my grandparents cover my rent one time because I was supposed to go to U of H and I decided to switch and go to UNT. 
So, you know, my money had got wasted trying to move to Houston and then switching to UNT. So I needed my granny to cover that first month of rent while I was in Denton. But um, I had gave that money back to her as soon as I had got my financial aid. So, yeah. I don't ask people for money. I'm a Leo, and Leos have a lot of pride. We don't like asking people for nothing. But yeah, it's like, it's been tough. I'm not even gonna count. And I used to like feel some type of way. I had to take a break from social media. Well, not even necessarily just take a break. I had to learn to tell myself, Joyce, if you gonna be on social media, the only reason why you need to be on there is to promote yourself and go on about your business. Because I was getting caught up in a hype. I am not gonna lie, I'm seeing people in designer, I'm seeing people, you know, vacaying, luxury living, all this stuff. And I'm just like, damn, how? Oh, and let me show y'all. You guys, I go over, I, I put on lashes sometimes, but for the most part, I just wear my real lashes because your girl don't be having time for that. So I just got like some beauty supply. Can y'all see that? Kiss um, mascara. And then I'll go over it with, I'll wipe that off. I'll go over it with Maybelline, the Rocket Volume Express. Can y'all see that? It's not focusing. And really, I don't have the patience to make you focus. But like I said, it's Maybelline, the Rocket Volume Express. But anywho, like I was saying, I would just see people, you know, living their best life. And I'm just like, how do I work this hard? And I just can't, you know, do what everybody else is doing. I was getting caught up in that hype. And then I had to realize, like, Joyce, these people is out here selling ass, scamming, and you know, they probably at home with their people, which I'm not hating on that part. I ain't finna sell no ass. I did think about scamming, but you know, I'm just that type of person who try to do things the right way. But I'm not gonna cap. I do be jealous because I wish my people stayed in Dallas. You know, I'm from Carthage. Carthage is two and a half hours from here. I was raised with my grandparents and you know, they all in San Diego ways. They scared of the city. My granny can't even drive on bridges. I've been trying to convince them to move to like Garland or Forney or Terrell for years. And they always say, oh, we gonna think about it, Stank. We gonna think about it. Oh, damn well. That they ain't thought about nothing. They just not fin to do it. And because if they was in the area, if they was um, closer to me, I would move back home. I would have been moved back home. Like, for real. Just so I can save money and stack. But that's just not my reality. So, I do be jealous when it comes to that. Because I'm like, y'all don't know how good y'all got it. That y'all can go home to your family, stack up, and just make it work. Because I can't move back to East Texas. There is no opportunities there. There's, you know, not good paying jobs. Like me as a teacher, going back to East Texas for a year, I took a $13,000 pay cut. Literally a pay cut with a master's degree. Like, no, I can't do it. No, Lord, I can't. And then, you know, another struggle I'm going through is that I'm a freelance photographer and videographer. Last year, your girl was getting booked. Your girl was, you know, booked and busy. But if you're an entrepreneur out there, you know that inflation is taking a toll on all of us. I haven't been booked in forever. And yes, I could be more consistent with marketing and stuff like that. But on top of me being a teacher, on top of me teaching two different subjects, on top of me doing interning, on top of me trying to, you know, just get back into the swing of things as far as blogging content and this and that, like, I'm my own marketer, uh, not marketer. Uh, yeah, I'm my own marketer, market, whatever. Y'all get what I'm saying? I'm my own like photographer. I'm my own filmer. I'm my own makeup artist. You know, my beautician, I go to her consistently for the most part, but when times are hard, I'm my own hairstylist. So, you know, all this is on me. I could be more consistent with marketing, 
but it's just like damn your girl can only do so much and then try to make ends meet so if you are a small business owner you know we're taking a hit right now ain't nobody looking with me iphone keep coming out with all of these new programs and all that you know pause for a second i'm gonna go ahead and finish blending in because i don't want this video to be too long so let me blend in and then i'll be back okay guys before i finish my little rant i'm going to like bronze myself out so i'll go in with this maybelline loose finishing powder and i get the 40 dark can y'all see that yeah i get this one and i just take another brush i put my setting spray on top of this and I just, I don't want to use too much because if you use too much, it'll make you too dark. But I just kind of go in with the leftover inside of this part and just, you know, toast myself out. But anywho, like I was saying, with these new iPhones and Androids and everybody trying to be a content creator now and the quality of the photography and, you know, people learning how to be videographers. Because I was making reels before reels was a thing, okay? I was, you know, trying to take high quality pictures before that was just a thing. But just with the shift in the media world, you know, a lot of people don't need a professional photographer, you know? And that's what kind of just motivated me to rebrand with just doing conceptual, conceptual shoots where, you know, you really need a lot of creative direction. Um, I transitioned into doing like event videography. I tried to do music videos at one point, but that just wasn't my thing. I don't like working with rappers and all that. Most of them broke anyway, can't afford all the editing that they want. And then the people who are good at it, I like for my work to tell a story, whether it's photography or videography, I like to tell a story. And a lot of, you know, up and coming musicians don't understand that when they're just trying to put a video out that it takes time to do, like I would say future, like I love future rap videos because to me it's very cinematic. It gives you a story and that take days to shoot. That takes a lot of equipment. That costs a lot of money. And you know, these rappers don't be trying to pay it. They don't be having time for all that. So I'm like, no, I'm not gonna do it. So I was transitioning into doing like events so I can just get better at filming a story. Even if it was a lame event, I promise you, I'll make that event look popping. I promise you, I'll make it look like it was packed and it was full. And I'm not gonna do all them crazy wild edits. That's just trying to follow the trend, trying to get into doing all that you know boom 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 crazy looking stuff that's just not my style and as a photographer and a videographer oh hold on a second guys i'm about to go in with this uh warm bronzer it's called mocha mommy 08 and it's by fancy beauty too and this is what it looks like so yeah i want to look toasty so i'm just gonna go in with that but yeah i want my work to tell a story i don't i don't want to do what everybody else is doing i don't want to do those crazy edits because to me like on top of like future videos if you look at sizzle videos or one of my favorite like directors videographers is lacy duke she do a lot of summer walker videos and ari lennox and the thing is with her is that, you know, she don't do no crazy edits. She tell a story. It her visuals just, they just the epitome of a beautiful black woman and just scenery and all that. That's what I'm on. But once again, I live in Dallas. That's why I'm trying to move. And people just don't be on that shit. They really don't. And I mean, I'm still going to, you know, brand myself, keep promoting myself, still put myself out there. But I know I need to just move. I need to move to a place to where they get it. They get what I'm trying to do and they need to book somebody for that. Because it's just, and regardless, I'm going to keep shooting. Whether I get booked or not, I'm going to keep shooting. I'll just use my friends, take my ideas, use my friends, and bada boom. Okay, guys, so we're on the last step of the makeup. <laughs> I'm about to do a red look because I am working a holiday party and I love the Fenty um, red lip stain, but I don't have any, I ran out of that. So I'm using my second, my second favorite, which is gonna be the MAC Ruby Woo. 
and you know do the liner the matching liner that goes with it once again i take brow series and i take my lip series so i'm going to stop them real quick do my lips and then i'm going to finish with this rent okay guys so your girl is beat at least my version of getting beat so if you're one of those girls who really don't have don't know how to do your makeup like you know you're not into beating your face that's my little you know natural makeup brow lip little spill just to get us through the night so we get some bomb pictures and be looking cute like the rest of the girlies but back to what i was saying you guys it's just hard out here it's it's hard for a pimp and although i'm able to pay my bills although i'm able to not ask other people for money i do get tired like i'm a single woman so everything is on me but i know that i can't stop like i just i can't stop i gotta keep going because i am trying to get out of the teaching field i am trying to get into the media entertainment field and i know that i have to just i gotta put myself out there so whether i get on through youtube get on through photography get on through videography it don't matter i'm just going to keep going and you know, I don't want to hop on a train. I want to do what I want to do. I want people to like me because they fuck with Joyce. They fuck with my artistry. Because when you get into the whole spiel of just focus on the money, although your girl is trying to run it up, you start doing shit that don't even align with you. Like, you just get so far away from your artistry to where you don't even like it no more. And I'm a firm believer that if you do what you love, you don't have to work another day in your life. So, I'm about to go ahead and, no, I'm not finna get ready for work right now. I'm gonna wait until my boss texts me and tell me that she's on her way. So, I'm about to make me some avocado toast with some eggs. I already know what I'm going to wear. Chill for a little bit until she tell me she's on her way. Then I will get dressed. But thank you guys for tuning in, listening to this makeup tutorial, this low-key get ready with me, this little rant that I went on. And until next time, bye. Oh. Also, like, comment, and subscribe. Like, comment, and subscribe. Y'all just heard me talk about how, you know, times is hard. I'm trying to get monetized on YouTube, you guys. All you gotta do is just hit a button. Just hit two buttons. Just hit the subscribe. Just hit the like. Hit the subscribe. Hit the like. So, if you are watching this video, please just subscribe and like. I promise I got some bomb content, you know, coming. But yeah. Look out for the girl. Look out for the kid. But until next time, bye.